Welcome back, everybody. So we are still feeling the crippling effects of coronavirus on our economy. Nine months into this crisis and many businesses we know are still closed. Millions of Americans are out of work with little or no way to pay all of their bills. That is leading some experts to predict a 45% increase in homelessness over the next year. Now that would mean hundreds of thousands of men, women and children on the streets that weren't there before. Now one woman believes it is time to change the way we think about homelessness, reshape policies, focus on communities to help get people back on their feet. In tents, under bridges, along streets. This is the scene in almost every big city. I had nowhere to go. I was living on the benches. Keith McClellan spent almost a year like this. His son forced into foster care and left wondering why. Kind of confused. Families with children are the fastest growing segment of the homeless population. Fastest growing segment. Families make up close to 40% of the homeless population. Rajni Shanker Brown has dedicated her life to changing how people and communities respond to the homeless. It is critical that we are looking at it from all different angles. Shankner Brown believes lack of living wage jobs and access to affordable housing are the main contributors to the increase. Since the pandemic, uh, we have seen this even escalate. She's working to reform the system, solving the problem at the community level. Right now, many families are afraid to ask for help. There's the fear of, their, of the state taking their kids away. It's because of this, Shankner Brown is a driving force behind the neighborhood center of West Volusia that provides housing, food, clothes, and emergency assistance trying to build resources, ways that families can truly thrive and receive the support they need. Her mentoring program, known as the Haters University Scholars, brings students to campus to expose them to the benefits of higher education. All too often, poverty and homelessness prevent our children and youth from realizing and reaching their potential and it is up to us to disrupt this narrative. The center combined with community members who cared helped to get Keith a higher paying full-time job and reunite him with his son. Everybody, thank you for helping my dad out. She is making things happen with her big dreams. So she also went on to say that she develops workshops for educational leaders and teachers all over the country and started a poverty and homelessness conference to raise awareness. She also envisions creating an interdisciplinary center for equity and social change at Stetson University that would address this issue and support children, schools and communities in poverty.